smartphones and laptops and television sets all summer long, and too much screen time can cause problems. Licensed psychologist and author Dr. Eric Fisher, Dr. E, is here now to explain. This is dangerous for you. This is, this is like a red flag for you. What well, is? I mean, think what we have to look at is, in some ways, we're training an ADD culture because our brains seek stimulation and screen time feeds our brain, it feeds that stimulation system, and the more our brain gets used to that, the more that we thirst it. Some parents might see when they have their kids get off get off the screen that their kids are more irritable, they're short-tempered, their attention spans are lower because they're working on wanting that, again, that stimulation that's got auditory stimulation, visual stimulation, all, and, and all those things keep our brain running, running, running on high speed. So we have to be aware of what we're training our kids when we let them have all the screen time. On the flip side, you've got parents who are irritable and cranky and they need time, so they use this as technology is that look you just go play on your your game and just leave me alone right it's like it's a babysitter. Kinda, it, it is it becomes the electronic babysitter and we have to be very careful that because we're then we're endorsing it and we're not helping our kids find things to do that are helpful as well as us finding things to do with them that could be helpful the other thing we see is when kids and families go out to dinner often you see kids at the at the table when eating dinner looking at their their or the parents are are talking to adults and the kids are playing on their technology mm -hmm. And I think it's important for kids to learn how to become involved in conversation. You're teaching them the art of conversation in those situations at the dinner table, whether you're at home or at a restaurant. You're asking them, how's it going? What's going on today? These are really important skills to have as we grow older that I think a lot of kids are missing out on. So even at our home, we have a time where we have time where we talk about our day, and then we might watch a TV show together, but also that show becomes part of our discussion on what's going on with the show to teach lessons, values, morals. It's not something that our daughter just watches while my wife and I are carrying on a conversation. So you're not advocating banning it altogether. You just said there should be some healthy limits on how much time you Right, you're right. Using. To me, two hours a day of screen time is plenty. And I know, yes, the parents are going, oh my gosh, but what, all about, what about all this other time? Develop a list of things that they can do. You might have a craft day. We have a game day that we've tried to stick to. We've had a game of Monopoly that we haven't gotten back to, but it's been five days of evenings after dinner that we played Monopoly together. You can do things with your kids, build crafts, have a list of things they can do. Reading is a great option. It's great to read, especially during the summer, to keep, keep their school skills up. Have a math book or an activity book, things that they can do that's between grades that they can work on every day in the summer. Maybe watch an educational video as part of their screen time with them and talk about that. Do something with them that involves you in their processes every day. And if you want to break from them, then you have to look at what you need to do to take care of yourself that also doesn't take you away from them. And it's funny you said that because you're going to look up one day, that child's going to be 16 years old, and they're not going to want to hang with you anymore. They're going to be with their friends, and you're going to look back and go, where'd the time go? Exactly. And you can't get time back. We always think, oh, well, tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow. Well, tomorrow runs into years. And when your kid's gone, and they're in school, and you're going, but what happened to that time? We have to realize every day is precious, and all the time we have them is precious because we don't know what tomorrow will bring. And we have to look at helping our kids find balance. We are helping prepare them for the rest of their life and if we're not helping them to learn balance on you know you can play on that or you can see this after you get so many tasks done this summer my daughter has to get certain things done before she can get on screen time and I think that's a great idea because when you get your work done then you can play and even then there's some time that we have her take a break and do other things we want to get out and play with her friends we want her to get out in the sunshine because we do have things called nature deficit disorders that we talk about now <laughs> that kids don't, like another segment. <laughs> it actually is. It absolutely is. And we need to make sure our kids are getting outside. You always have great information, Dr. E. Thank you. Thank you so much for that. Thank Let's you. hope during the summer months, parents can take advantage of this. For more information on today's parenting discussion with Dr. E, just click on the viewer information story on the Fox 5 Atlanta app. And you can stay connected with us throughout the day on Twitter. You can follow me at Karen G Fox 5. And our newscast is on Twitter at Good Day Atlanta. 936 is your time and Good Day Atlanta's Portia Bruner is back now standing by with more of the morning's top stories. Portia, good yeah, morning. Still taking notes from that great segment.